Welcome to the TSA Net Connect End User Training. TSA Net was founded over 26 years ago as a global collaborative alliance. It now includes over 600 members who work together to solve multi vendor issues. TSA Net and the TSA Net Connect system are designed to connect engineers. A typical use case starts with an engineer working on a customer issue that requires assistance from another member. The member uses TSA Net Connect to raise a collaboration request with the other member. After the engineers are connected, they work together to solve the customer issue. As a support engineer, you can use TSA Net whenever you have a customer in need. As these examples below show, you're able to work with members on many types of multi-vendor issues that range from system outages to installation issues. TSA Net Connect provides a simple and consistent method for connecting to engineers at other member organizations. In addition to a simple user interface, the system can also be integrated to members' systems and processes. To access the system, go to your member login page. Log in with your email and password, or new users can request an account. The system is designed around a single use case of creating a collaboration case, and the first step is to find a partner. Here you can use a dynamic search or select from your list of favorites. The system will guide you through any exceptions. If you find a member that's part of TSA Net but does not have a relationship with you, click the Send Invite link. If you're not able to find a partner, select the Not Able to Find Partner link. TSA Net staff will then work with your business manager to resolve these issues. After selecting a member, you will be taken to the process form. This is a new form that all members will use in the future. This form is the input to the process for requesting collaboration and supports SLA and escalation instructions. Let's take a look at the end-to-end -end process to better understand how TSA Net Connect works. First, the sender logs into TSA Net Connect and finds a partner. They fill out their process form, select a priority, and hit submit. Then the email process completes the connection. First, the sender gets an email that includes SLA and escalation instructions to use if needed. The receiver will receive an email with a button to respond to the case. This takes them to a form where they enter their case number, engineer name, and contact details. This information is then sent back to the sender. TSA Net Connect will monitor for initial response SLA and trigger escalation processes as needed. The system will also request feedback from the sender after a period of three to five days. The inbound process is designed as follows. An email will be sent to the support alias that you've defined. After the case is created and an engineer is assigned, you must make the initial response by providing your case number, signed engineer, and contact details. This is done by selecting the button within the email. The system will monitor for your initial response and trigger an escalation process if needed. Your engineer then contacts the partner and works the case as normal. The engineer does not need to update the TSA Net Connect system and uses their standard tools and policies that are part of your case management process. Three types of issues may arrive that you need to escalate. The first is a problem with a specific case. Use the escalation instructions that are included in all emails. For any type of system issue, contact TSA Net. On the TSA Net Connect homepage, you also find a company note section that will include internal contacts that can be used as needed. Access TSA Net Connect now at your company login page.